Alright, modeling in 3D. <coughs> Very easy to do. Directions match each building with the geometric shapes that can be used to model it. I always start with you, Trenton, so I might as well. Trenton, number one. Uh, what shapes you see, bud? It don't matter the amount. What shapes do you see? Samari, go ahead. Cones and cylinders. Thank you. Carry on what you see on number two. Cylinder and rectangular prism. Thank you. Let me zoom out some. Kamora, <coughs> number three. Rectangular prism, cylinder, and pyramid. <coughs> Only thing I question you on, you saw cylinders, right? Where you see the cylinders at? In the middle? Yeah, in the middle right here. Tell me what this is, Kamora, right here on top of this cylinder then. Alright. I know, that's why I'm, that's what I'm here for. So that's uh, modeling with buildings. You will have a question like that on your test. It's gonna be. But the thing about it is, I don't know, for some reason when y'all get to the test, y'all nut this up. It's going to be a composite of three different shapes. All you got to do is select the correct three shapes. It's really not that hard to do. And I remember the one that's on there, and I just don't know why y'all get that problem wrong. It's like easy. As easy as you feel like this was right now, it ain't even going to be as hard as number three. It's going to be very visual. All three shapes are going to be separate, and all you got to do is call them out and check them off as, as you uh, go through. <clears throat> We're going to see what y'all do. I don't know. <clears throat> number four. Considering the figure to the right, ah, not the left, what solid 3D is produced by rotating the square about the line M? So I got a line M here down the middle of my square. Let's say if I spin this figure, rotate it around this line, what solid 3D object would I create? <clears throat> Jayla, do you know? This is where some of y'all have a hard time because y'all don't have that good of imagination. Imagine me spinning this square just rapidly along this line in the middle right here. What 3D shape would I make? You would make a cylinder. You may not see it until you get to the math Excel, but you would make a cylinder. The question is after that, well, stop, man. See, look. Settle down, bro. <clears throat> It'll make a cylinder. Then after that, we gotta go through the choices because only one of them is right. So the cylinder with the height of one unit. Is that correct? A cylinder with the height of two units. Yeah. Yes. All right. Don't let number five blow your mind. On number five, consider the following figure below. What 3D solid shape object is produced about the line M? If I was to spin this triangle over line M, what 3D shape would I make? Hopefully everybody's saying a cone. If not, then I can't. I don't know how to paint that picture for you. <coughs> we got to figure out which one of these is good for us, though. So the cone with a height of two units. That's a no. Cone with a height of one unit. What's the height of the cone? 0 0.5. Let's stop playing games. <coughs> a cone with a radius of 2. A, a cone with a diameter of 1. 
What's the diameter of the cone? Mm-hmm. How many pages you got? Click. You only need one, bro. That's both the same. No, no, no. Put that other thing back. We're not doing that yet. Put that back. There you go. Shh. On the back cross sections, there are several interesting shapes that are revealed once you we cut a 3D figure. Um, the cross sections can be shown through horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. Okay, so let's show you an example up here with the cone. You got a cone, they split it a couple different ways with a plane, a flat surface, creating a cross section. They split it horizontally first. When they split it horizontally, what shape do you see? When you open that up, circle, right? When they split it vertically, and then when they split it uh, diagonally. Somebody said it. Oval, thank you. All right, so that's with the cone, and not necessarily all the same shapes when you do other things, but we'll figure that out as we go. So determine the shape resulting from each cross section of well these shapes, they're not cones. It's a cylinder and prism. <coughs> all right, uh, Kamora, the first one, the cylinder right here. Cross section is horizontal. What would it create? Thank you. I'm not gonna draw no circle. I'm gonna write the word. <coughs> Trend if we split it uh, horizontally. The, thank you. Madison, if we split it diagonally like this. No. We, we just did it up top, over. I'm tripping. <coughs> Prism. Uh, go ahead. Oh, what's my boy's name? Yeah, you hand up. Go ahead. What? <laughs> <laughs> you mean square? Jalen. Next one. Ramos, last one. Yes. All right. <coughs> Six. A uh, vertical slice through a three dimensional shape. Which of the following solids can produce the two-dimensional shape when sliced vertically? So it's your 2D shape up here. They want to know which one of these solids can produce that when sliced vertically. <coughs> Kaylee. Which one again? I'm sorry. You say D. Now, if I slice D vertically, I'm going to see a rectangle, just to be honest with you. What's up? So we slice this vertically, Faye. Vertically is like this right here. Straight up and down. If I come through this straight up and down, I'm going to see a triangle. If I come through this straight up and down, I'm going to see a rectangle like I saw on this one. Number seven says, what two-dimensional cross-sections could we create by slicing the particular cone shown below? So select all apply. Now on this one, they didn't tell us what direction they were slicing because they want you to consider everything and select all that apply. Jen, what you got? For what? Yes. Yeah, so a circle, that's it? Huh? 
Let me help you out. If I slice this horizontally, what shape am I going to see? Huh? Circle, right? Yeah. If I slice it vertically, what am I going to see? Which one? Aren't they on this cone, on this cone? Shh. Aren't these two slanted sides congruent? Oh yeah. When I slice this and make a triangle, it's gonna be our isosceles triangle, right? Mm -hmm. How y'all can't see that? <laughs> All right. It's on the computer.